Hello everybody and welcome back to the Confessions of a 20-something Manchild blog. I am said Manchild, Dave Herndon, and today we are talking Savage Wolverine number one, both written and and uh, drawn by Frank Chow. I gotta tell you, I was predisposed to like the book for the simple fact of it's Wolverine. Wolverine growing up was my favorite X-Man. He remains one of my favorite comic characters. This is yet another solo Wolverine title. I had to love it. Um, it. The book starts out early on. We have a, a shield plane flying overhead. And uh, it crashes into the Savage Lands. Flash forward a few pages. Wolverine is also in the Savage Lands. Wolverine gets attacked. Th this book, first of all, let me tell you, very, very much not for a child. If you have children, do not let them read it. Very, very bloody, gory beheadings, all kinds of good stuff. Um, like I said, as we're getting into it, right there, Wolverine cuts off one of the Savage's heads. Um, eventually, Wolverine meets up with the S.H.I.E.L.D. team, or, well, the S.H.I.E.L.D. team is all killed except for one member. Her. And Wolverine meets up with her. They're old pals from way back. And eventually the book ends with them still attempting to get off the island out of the Savage Lands. But overall, I'm giving this one a B+. There is some room for improvement, but I am loving it. 